GMO debate, facts, fears, and the future. GMOs, genetically modified organisms, have long been a topic of controversy in the realm of science. While genetic engineering finds widespread acceptance in medical applications like GM insulin, the debate escalates when it ventures into the realm of food and agriculture. Why is this the case? Why does the same scientific process elicit such varied responses? Join us on this The World of GMOs, exploring the facts, addressing the fears, and envisioning the future. Throughout history, humans have been shaping the genetic makeup of plants and animals through selective breeding. We've chosen the best traits and allowed them to flourish over generations. Traits, in essence, are the expression of genes. Over thousands of years, this has transformed the flora and fauna around us into something entirely different from their wild ancestors. So, what sets GMOs apart from this age-old practice of selective breeding? Selective breeding relies on chance, hoping for favorable genetic combinations. Genetic engineering, on the other hand, enables us to precisely select and introduce the desired traits. We can make fruits grow larger, confer immunity to pests, and more. But why do GMOs stir up concerns? One common objection to GMO centers around a gene flow, the possibility that GM crops could mix with traditional crops, introducing unintended characteristics. Some proposed solutions, like terminator seeds, raised controversy by potentially requiring farmers to buy new seeds annually. Despite these concerns, instances of engineered DNA unintentionally spreading remain relatively rare. Another pressing question revolves around the safety of food derived from GM crops. This has been a significant concern from the outset. GM plants intended for consumption undergo rigorous safety assessments, spanning over three decades and thousands of studies. The conclusion, consuming GMO plants is no riskier than their non-GMO counterparts. But what about plants engineered to produce toxins? Take Bt crops, for example, which produce a protein toxic to specific insects. This might sound alarming, but the specificity of these toxins ensures harmlessness to humans. It's akin to substances like coffee or chocolate, which are toxic to some species but safe for others. Positive examples. GMOs have ushered in positive changes as well. In Bangladesh, GM eggplants equipped with the same Bt protein dramatically reduced the need for insecticides, improving farmers' health and income. In Hawaii, GM papayas resistant to a devastating virus saved the state's papaya industry from collapse. Future Applications Currently, most GMOs focus on producing or resisting pesticides. However, the potential is vast. Scientists are working on crops that offer improved nutritional value, adaptability to climate change, and even the ability to draw nitrogen from the air, addressing environmental issues. As the global population grows, so does the demand for food. We can either expand agriculture, which may harm our environment, or intensify it with more efficient methods like GMOs. These engineered organisms have the potential to revolutionize agriculture and mitigate the impact of our actions on the planet.